The Center for Consumer Freedom was founded in 1996 to counter the growing number of activist groups dedicated to telling Americans how they should live their lives. These groups had nice sounding names like the Center for Science and the Public Interest and People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. But most Americans were never told about the extreme agendas of some of these groups. Many consumers are sick and tired of seeing the nanny state get more control over their daily lives. We give them a voice and help them fight back. CCF has mainly focused on food and beverage issues, but over the years it has taken on do-gooders of all kinds who believe we're all too stupid to make our own choices. Of course, taking on these self-anointed, haloed busybodies tends to make them mad. We point out their hypocrisy, junk science, hidden agendas, inconsistencies, and misdirection. And we push back against the paternalism that inspires many of their campaigns. For example, the Humane Society of the United States, HSUS, is upset at us for exposing that it's not associated with local pet shelters and that donations to HSUS are not likely to help the cute kittens and puppies in their manipulative, emotional TV commercials. The Center for Science and the Public Interest is annoyed with us for pointing out that it was for trans fats before it was against them. You get the idea. Of course, CCF wants everyone to be healthy, get exercise, and eat their vegetables. But we don't think the government should be in the business of mandating such things. Soft drink taxes, bans on salted foods, and fast food zoning laws go way too far for our taste. You may agree with us all of the time, some of the time, or none of the time. That's fine. We're just trying to start an honest debate, make certain you hear more than one side on an issue, and stop a small group of people from dictating choices for everybody. Take a look around the site. Check out the articles, the ads, and the press releases. Let us know what you think. Thanks.